Okay. I'm so excited. What's she gonna do? What do you think she's gonna do? She probably see me, actually. Go get this paper. I can't see anything with it. Is she coming? Okay. Okay, mom's on her way down. She doesn't know Ryan's here yet. All the people in her office are waiting for her. Okay, I'm so excited. I'm not actually shaking. Why are you shaking? Because I'm so excited. <laughs> what is your head? First of all, thanks for what you're doing. Thank you. Thanks for what you're doing. Be safe, man. Uh, how are you? <laughs> I'm seriously like shaking. I'm so shaking. <laughs> Sam, Sam. Oh my god, she's coming. So many times being like, oh my god, I guess who's downstairs or something, you know. <laughs> Did Brett know? Oh yeah, the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> so now you can call that lovely husband of yours well, and say hello. Don't worry. Your boss said it's okay for you to go home <laughs> after all of this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you can blame grandma too, she knew. Yeah, she knew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so did Grandma Linda, so did, <laughs> so did John and Carissa. Yeah. Wow. Wow, this is so funny. Oh, cool. This is cool. <laughs> See? Now it's not so bad. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Do you need another pop? <laughs> Probably, huh? <laughs> wow. What do you got that guy for?
Heidi. <laughs> yeah. Chad DeFrady's mother called me a month ago. We talked about the marriage proposal Chad wanted to do. His potential bride had no idea he was coming home or was preparing a most unique proposal. But first, we needed the help of a local sheriff. Chad DeFrady sat alongside Christian County Sheriff Bob Kinderman. The two were waiting for Jennifer Rogers to get off work. After she leaves the high school, we'll try to follow her to a safe location and a traffic stop. Before the traffic stop began, Chad DeFratis admitted that he was nervous about his surprise trip home and his even bigger surprise wedding proposal that was just minutes away. I'm much more nervous about this than, you know, I've been shot at and mortared and, you know, it's, this is much more nerve-wracking. Jennifer Rogers' nerves must have been a little rattled as she talked to the sheriff. Inside the waiting police car, Chad DeFratis was also trying to calm down. Listen to my shaky voice. And then Chad DeFratis made his move. The soldier was armed with only a CD player that would play the couple's favorite song. Any better. Woo! <laughs> we couldn't have pulled it all off without the help of Sheriff Bob Kinderman. Thank you, Sheriff. Also thanks to Chief Photographer Kevin Huey. We had two cameras going on that shoot. I had one, but I could hardly focus through the tears. I think Don's yeah, the no same way. Yeah, no kidding, Scott, man. That's really emotional. <laughs> I'm a little emotional. choked up as well. <laughs> that was a great story. Joshua J. Talk like that. So, my dad's sitting right over there with my uncle, uh, my cousins, and my aunt's inside. So, we're waiting for her to come back. 
Look, somebody's flying a kite over there. Where is your aunt? Gonna take a quick pause. Okay, so we're not waiting for her aunt because her aunt's taking too long. So I hope we can make this work. Um, I think this is working out. Okay, and they are right over there, that family right there that we're walking up on. Uh, just wanted to see what they're doing. Sure. You guys are. How come you guys are up here? <laughs> because. Would you like to see who's in that come. picture? Surprise you? Surprise! <laughs> That's awesome. You? <laughs> Can I see this? <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. It's a long way from where you were. <laughs> Um, I'm debating to, I was debating to take some leave, and uh, I talked to a lot of my leadership about coming home for a bit. And uh, with our schedule um, being four in and four out, like they have to accommodate for people going on leave, so, especially with like you know grandma. And, um, that kind of is a good segue into it. So I asked for leave on Friday, um, got a plane ticket, spent like 28 hours. <laughs> to Munich, to DC, and I got in really late last night. And uh, they picked me up from Denver. Um, I stayed the night next door. <laughs> and right next and uh, yeah. I have eyes and ears everywhere, so I caught wind of the fact that you guys were coming up here. And so <laughs> I figured, you know what? I'm just going to take some leave. Like, this is probably one of the best memories I could possibly make. Um, better than, you know. Being on the other side of the world. The Navy's always going to be there. The patrol's always going to be there. But <laughs> family's pretty important. So You a big present. Come here. Let's go see the tent. Look. Yeah, you better open it up. Here, I'll hold your. You open it up. Is it just a book? Nope, it's a big, big present. Oh, hey, this is one of the scissors that I put them over there. Hold on. Good boy. What do you think it is? No. Should we open it up and see? Yeah. It's a desk. It's not. Okay, hold on. Okay, pull the flaps open. Pull these open. Pull them hard. Daddy! <laughs> Hi! Hey! Hey! Hi! Hi! It says Aaron and Aubrey Shipman. And Mommy Shipman. Open the box. What are you girls doing?
Are you happy? Yeah. yeah. Uh, skinny girls. What are you doing? Oh, Bruce. You too? Have a kiss. I miss you guys. You smell. Hi. Wow, that was quick. You playing shy? What did you think was in that box? Did you say <laughs> 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 Were you guys playing outside? Yes. You smell like it. <laughs>